All right, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to fillet a striped bass and with an electric knife, and this is my new bubble blade. There is a redeemer, Jesus, God's own son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, Holy One. I've filleted a fish with uh, manual knives most of my life, and... Uh, Trying out the new bubble blade, seeing if it can go fast or go easier with the electric knife. So since this is, I'm still relatively coming up the learning curve with the bubble blade, uh, it might take a little more time, a little more effort, it might be a little more difficult. We'll see how it goes. I'll just kind of go slowly and explain the plan as I go. Now usually with manual knives, I don't try and cut through the ribs uh, of a fish this big. I stay behind the ribs. Uh, but I'm hoping with the electric knife, I'm hoping the bubble blade will go right on through there. When you cut through the ribs, you do uh, save a little more meat. So I'll make the first cut behind the gills, all the way down to the backbone, over, along the backbone, separate the fillet, cutting through the ribs. Uh, then I'll flip it over, separate the fillet from the skin, if it goes well, and then I'll cut out the, uh, cut out the ribs. All right. This is the 9 inch E Flex uh, blade, and it's taking a little effort to get through the ribs. Alright, it took some time, some effort, some force uh, to get through the ribs. Uh, you notice I also had to kind of press down to try and keep it against the backbone, and uh, but it seemed to go okay, uh, really close to the backbone. Uh, so it did a pretty good job. It just uh, required some time, effort, and uh, downward force toward the ribs to uh, to keep things moving along. All right, see how it keeps going here. Kind of hanging up there right at the very end. All right, now we got it. Wow, that's a good looking fillet. I'm rather pleased overall compared with the amount of work uh, that doing that is with the manual knife and compared with, uh, you know, the probably going to get off more meat of it. Uh, it's uh, been able to cut through the ribs and then cut them out as a later stage. All right, we'll see how how it goes taking out the ribs. Alright, well the ribs came out rather nicely. Uh, you know, there is a little bit of meat wasted on there. Uh, but with practice, I think I'm going to improve at that thing very quickly. Alright, so what I'm going to do on the other side is I'm just I'm going to try uh, the other set of blades. There's a nine inch and it's not called E Flex. I think it's called something like E Stiff or something like that. So um, just gonna go ahead and see if filleting a striper this large. And this guy was about eight and a half pounds actually weighed, so we're not guessing. So we're gonna see how it goes with the E Stiff blades if that's any better. All right, it's got the nine inch E stiff blades. First cut's gonna be down to the backbone and I'm trying to turn it over, come down uh, and separate the fillet that way. Adjust the fish so it's mostly in the view.
All right, so the trip through the ribs uh, was actually much, much easier uh, with the E stiff than with the E flex. So I think on stripers this size in the future, I'm going to keep going uh, with the E stiff because it was so much easier to get through the ribs and uh, seemed like we got just as much meat and I uh, didn't need the flex. So now we got the fillet off the skin and uh, the E stiff blade seemed to do a fairly good job getting it off the skin. Now if I really wanted to save the most meat I don't think the E stiff is going to do that good of a job uh, cutting the ribs off. But when you're filleting fish, if you got a bunch of them, sometimes you just want to stick with the same blade and just keep rolling. And you might not be so inclined to switch back and forth between blades. So I'm going to just try it and see how it goes with the E-stiff separating the ribs from the fillet. And as I expected, uh, a little more meat stayed attached to the ribs with the uh, E-stiff than it did with the E-flex. Uh, but still, for the first time ever, uh, filleting a striped bass with the Bubba Blade, uh, it went pretty smoothly. I'd have to say I'm pleased. Uh, probably going to try it from the beginning next time with the 9-inch uh, E-stiff blade and just growing my skill as I do it. And I think the increase in skill is where the uh, getting more and more meat off these things is going to come from. Thank you, Jesus. Well, praise the Lord. We wanted a nice big striped bass. Uh, we prayed for a nice big striped bass. And, uh, you know, eight and a half pounds is a nice big striped bass. Thank you, Jesus. I tremble at the thought of judgment day. Lord, I am not ready, please don't return Just yet for all my sins are and put away My cross is on the floor and I would burn